Beautiful afternoon for baseball in Kansas City. 78 degrees, a little breeze coming in from right field, and you see those picturesque puffy white clouds up above the ballpark getting ready for a series finale today. And the Royals are going for a sweep of the Chicago White Sox to open up the unofficial second half of this 2024 season. And there's all-star Seth Lugo, his 21st start of the season, his first out of the break, 248 ERA this year, third best in all of baseball. Yeah, right man, right spot here for the this third and final game going for the sweep. You got a guy here who's very reliable. Now home on a 3-2. Fam hits a soft roller down toward third. Garcia's going to have to hustle. Bare hand play. Not in time. Tommy Fam running hard the entire way and legs out an infield single. Now Gavin Sheets up there for the White Sox. 2-2 to Sheets and he got him swinging on the curve. Unpredictable for a hitter. You just have to zone him, but that curveball has nice bite to it. Good spin rate. It's one of his most effective pitches. Payoff pitch, Pham does run. Robert swings and misses. Throw to second, and Pham's hung up. Hampson runs him down. Strike him out. Throw him out. Double play in the first for the second straight game. Drew Thorpe scheduled to make his seventh career start. He's been excellent in the last four starts. Four straight quality starts, going 3-0 with a 1.85 ERA. Nearly clipped Blazier. It did. And so that's a hit batter to begin the bottom of the first. And a rousing ovation for Bobby Witt Jr. Well, what's he got in store for us today? He hits a fly ball into short center field and a slide and a trap. Runner to second and safe there. No force out. And so a hit batter and a single and the Royals are in business in the first inning. On the ground. Baldwin. They get the out at second. Oh, nice play by Nicky Lopez on that low throw by Baldwin, and they get win for the first out. Frazier over to third. Pasquantino's at first. Up comes Salvador Perez. Could be two. Lopez, Baldwin, Vaughn. Nice. Thorpe dials up a double play. Nicely done by the rookie. No score as we start the second. Andrew Vaughn leading off for the White Sox. Seth Lugo went three up and three down. He gets Andrew Vaughn in a high fly ball to right center field. Renfro moving in a few steps. Will make the catch. One pitch, one out for the White Sox in the second. Oh, right through Lugo's legs. Like and missed. Hampson's behind the back to make the play. Two outs. Oh, man, that's a beautiful thing. It narrowly missed him. Watch out. It goes right between the wickets. He's coming off the bat at 97, and Lugo showing his uh, athleticism, able to Jump out of the way, duck out of the way. And a swing and a miss. So Brooks Baldwin goes down swinging. Three strikeouts for Lugo and facing six hitters. For battling a little bit of a command issue here in the second. Issued a five pitch walk to the leadoff man, Hunter Renfro. He's had to work with the leadoff man on in both innings. He hit Adam Frazier in the first. One and two. Swing and a miss on the sweeper. That was nasty and needed very little setup. First strikeout for Drew Thorpe. 1 0 is a liner in a right center field. This will be gathered by Gavin Sheets. A good route from right. 2 0 pitch. A high fly ball into center. Not deep. Robert has it red. Now in a step or two and will make the catch. So Thorpe works around the leadoff walk. Keeps the Royals off the board and the White Sox will hit. No score yet. Nick Senzel, another newcomer to the White Sox. Playing third today. On the ground is short. Routine for Bobby Witt Jr. Two outs. 0 2 to Lee. Got him swinging. Got him with a slider. Fourth K for Lugo. He's faced the minimum through three scoreless innings. Second walk of the day for the rookie Drew Thorpe. Bobby Witt Jr. will stand in. Bobby, seven for eight in this series. That is caught by Senzel. Frazier will get back to the bag. 101 off the bat of Bobby Witt. That was an excellent play by Sinzel. This was ticketed for the left field, and possibly two. It's a really nice play to keep Witt off the base paths. One, two. Pasquantino hits it on a line to center. Roberts got it measured and makes the catch head high. But Drew Thorpe works around a one out base runner to keep us scoreless. And Lugo's now retired nine straight. He's been efficient too. Eight pitch inning in the second, 11 pitch inning in the third. So his 39th pitch coming home to Gavin Sheets. Boy, these first pitch outs are beautiful. Stay with it. It's a tester. Oh boy. Oh boy is right. But Garcia got it. On the ground is short. Witt's got it. 
And Seth Lugo delivers a five pitch one two three inning. Or has just two strikeouts getting a lot of weak contact again. The next to Blanco swing and a miss another change. That's a work over for Drew Thorpe. And the third strikeout of his outing it'll bring up the nine man Kyle Isbell three two swing and a miss. Drew Thorpe has the changeup out and he is hunting for Royals. Back to back strikeouts. A one two three frame no score. Tommy Pham the only other guy to reach. Now hitting with two out and Lopez at second. No score top six. Lugo to the plate. Pham rips a single into center. Down for a hit. Isbell collects Lopez around third. And Tommy Pham comes through. White Sox lead it one to nothing. So Lugo blinks first today. A leadoff hit by pitch turns into a one nothing White Sox lead. Now Bobby Witt Jr. has the lone Royals hit against Thorpe. Up the middle, pass Lopez. It's another hit for Bobby Witt Jr. Three straight multi hit games. It is his ninth this month and his 42nd of the season. Soft liner down the line. Yeah. And Witt's off to the races. Wilson holds him at third. Back to back hits and the Royals have runners on the corners with one out. Home to Perez. Wave and a miss. Got him on a slider. Fifth strikeout for Thorpe and now one out away from escaping this inning. First pitch swinging fly ball into left center. Robert racing over and will make the grab avoiding Tommy Pham who was in the alleyway to help out Thorpe. Does a great job of working around the Royals threat. White Sox hold on to a one nothing lead as we hit the seventh. Seth Lugo before I could say he's at 69 pitches through six innings. I can now say he's 70 pitches through six and a third as he got an out on one pitch there and a swing and a miss. He strikes him out on a splitter and for Seth that is strike at number five on the day. Brooks Baldwin pops up the first pitch right to Vinny Pasquintino. And it's a one two three inning for Seth Lugo. He's done that five times in the last six frames. Now here and now the Royals are trying to make a comeback against the White Sox and their bullpen. Justin Anderson is the new pitcher. Soft roller. Anderson can't get it. And the Royals have a base runner. Infield hit for Michael Garcia. I wonder if Blanco tries to do something similar. Chop to the hole. Pass Lopez. And Garcia is motoring to third. The throw goes to second. First pitch swing from Blanco. Aggressive base running Garcia. And the Royals are set up first and third with only one out. It's a squeeze. Here comes Garcia. And the Royals tie the game. Isbell's out at first, but the run scores. Perfect execution. Seth Lugo still working for the Royals. He has been magnificent. And Lopez flicks it to left, but Blanco dives and makes the catch. A snare on the sprawl. So one away in the top of the eighth. And now Andrew Benintendi pinch hits. Rip to second. And Massey's got it on one hop. Two outs. Flared to right. Renfro angles over. And he makes the catch to end the inning. Eight innings of one run ball for Set Lugo. So here we go. Bottom of the eighth in the heart of the order. So Witt, Pasquantino, and Perez. Rip to right. A third consecutive three hit game for Bobby Wood Jr. He is unstoppable. Now it'll be Hunter Renfro. Infield still in, opens up opportunities. Get that ball through. Ah, Serve to right, and the Royals take the lead. Wentz in to score. Hunter Renfro delivers, and it's two to one. The Royals aren't finished yet. Runners first and third. Batter will be Garcia. Garcia sends one to left. It's down for a hit, and that's another Royals run. The Royals have the lead, and now they've got some breathing room. Royals coming alive here late. That will bring up Blanco. Tyrone Blanco, one for three, a single his last time up. Tyrone Blanco sends a single to left, and Renfro motors home. It's four to one. And the White Sox bullpen has totally collapsed. No change on the mound. Set Lugo is back on the hill, bidding for a complete game. He's never thrown a complete game before. Into left, and Blanco runs it down. One away. And the story of this series has been the Royals starting pitching. Seven shutout innings from Waka and Singer on Friday and Saturday. And while Seth Lugo has allowed a run, he is also two outs away from going the distance. Chop to the left side. Garcia is perfectly positioned. 
two outs. Seth Lugo has equaled his career high in innings pitched. He's thrown 99 pitches. His rotation mates watch from the dugout. And over 22,000 come to their feet. First season as a Royal. A first-time All-Star. Delivers a complete game. And it polishes off a sweep. You go, we go, Lugo. Congratulations to CG. Put that on your mantle. Save that baseball. Outstanding work. What a sweep.